Hey everyone, thank you for clicking on this video. I really appreciate your support. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. So today I wanted to show you an old amplifier that I built and in particular, it's a class D switching audio amplifier. If you want to build one, well, maybe this is the one for you. Uh, I had some problems with the power supply, but uh, in any event, the beauty of this thing is it comes from uh, an old popular uh, electronics magazine. And in fact, it was the April uh, 1996, which by the way, you can actually get all of the popular electronic magazines from a website. So what I'll do is I'll put that link in the description. It's got all the issues from 1954 all the way up to uh, 2003. So if you have the itch to build any circuits from Popular Electronics, or you just want to go through some of the ones that you built in the past, this is a great resource for you. So I built an nice little, first of all, let me just look at the power supply here. This is direct AC, mains going right to the rectifier itself. Uh, I didn't like that, so I decided to build an isolation transformer. Now this is about 10 years ago when I built this, so this was all, you know, um, this was the plan. However, I did run into some problems. And it turns out that the power supply here, which is also here, looks great. However, and it gives 51 volts just like it should. Um, however, when you put it, uh, if you hook it up to the actual amplifier itself, it loads it down. The most you're going to get is about 40 volts. Yeah, you get some audio, but it's barely loud enough to hear. So I don't know. I didn't know what to do. So I just at the time, I just said I wanted to get this project finished. So I pretty much scratched the uh, power supply. Obviously, I left it in. Um, but now I feed it through uh, a separate input of 52 volts. And that's why I decided to get that Sorensen power supply fixed. So now that that's fixed, that'll supply my 52 volts. Which, by the way, I think it draws about... Um, can't remember. I'll have to see how much current it drawed. I think it was about a half an amp at least anyway, 51 uh, volts. So that's quite a bit. And unfortunately, the designer, when they built this power supply, didn't design it correctly. There's just not enough output, unfortunately. Um, but say la vie. Um, the actual circuit itself, you can see we've got some op amps here. This is where the signal comes in. At least I think it is. Where's the signal coming in? Oh, where are you? It's hard to see on this screen here. Ah, there we go. There's your left in and left outs. So it gets uh, amplifiers and preamps, and then you've got, well, not preamps, um, op amps, and then you've got some preamps here, normal, NPN, PMP, and then we've got some FETs here. And as you know, a class D is a switching. So the actual output to the speakers, it's going to be um, a pulse. So depending on the width of the pulse, that'll determine the frequency of the um, the audio. So and it goes directly to the speaker, class D, digital, so to speak, pulse width modulation in in a sense, and um, yeah, that works great. And in fact, I've got a clip. I'm going to play that after this video, the description, and you'll hear it for yourself. I can't play music, but I got some German to English, English to German type. Uh, tapes. So hopefully I won't get a copyright strike on that. In any event, uh, so it's pretty simple. You've got your left in, right in, left out, um, right out. And there's a gain control right there. And of course we've got a power switch. Now this power supply here, in a sense, that's all it's really doing is powering uh, fans. So on the cover for this module here, I've got two end fans and at this point that's all it's powering. It would power the actual power supply, but unfortunately it doesn't give enough. Um, and I am still using the isolation transfer for that particular fan. In any event, I think I've went on long enough. Anyway, the point here is if you uh, want to go through some of your old memories, pull up the popular electronics magazines. Tons of stuff in there that you could build. And maybe bring back some memories, too. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, and bye for now. New words, page 134. Das Benehmen. Die Messe. Der Kühlschrank. Das Geschenk. Die Tiefkühltruhe. 
die Wirtschaft. Die Kneipe. Der Hund. Die Art. Die Weise. Die Größe. Das Etikett. Das Museum. Die Museen. Der Heimweg. Schütteln. Zwitschern. Unerwartet. Backen. Er backt.